So I, I have a, a bit that I do about this one, uh, a buddy of mine who's like, oh, look at Trump. He's so fat and ugly. It's like, dude, you guys have the same body type. Yeah. You know, but at least, at least Trump's 72. You're 30 years old. Right. Like, right. you know, you're disgusting. Get your shit together, man. And I don't think, even if you're a critic of Trump, it's like, I just like that too, it's like the physical appearance attack that would never be okay in any other context. Right. <laughs> I mean, that one's funny to me though, because people, like, I could just stay out of it and watch people who normally agree on everything, and then one person makes fun of him for the way he looks, and then the person's like, actually, that's the ableist and whatever else. And then it's just like, you can just stay out of it and watch people destroy each other who are yeah. technically on the same side of the political yeah. spectrum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Nick, um, um, what do you think about this whole idea of uh, everything being political now, like everything personal is now politics. I think a, a little while back, uh, Michael Ian Black, the comedian, you know, uh, originally from the state and Stella, um, he, he went on Twitter and, and said that, like everything you do is is political. Uh, do, do you see that as a thing? Uh, I yeah, I think that's a real tendency, and you know, that's that's an old slogan from uh, second wave feminism: the personal is the political, and. There's a lot of power to that and a lot of truth. At the same time, there is something truly uh, kind of terrifyingly totalitarian about that, where everything you do, I mean, if you're a man and you sit or stand while you take a pee, is that a political statement? Uh, you know, and, and once everything becomes politicized, I mean, again, politics ruins pretty much everything it touches. God forbid. I mean, you know, the Soviet Union actually used to try and shut down more than rock and roll, more than Elvis and the Beatles. They tried to shut down absolutely innocent, like, uh, teeny bopper songs that were simply about, like, innocent love because it was apolitical. And that was the one thing that the Soviets couldn't abide, a, a space of human activity that had no political impact. Yeah, I wonder how the Soviets would have, if they would have liked uh, the movie Footloose. You know, it's just like no dancing allowed if they would have, if the comrades would have been able to come together on that. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. Make sure you click the little bell to turn on notifications so you never miss a video. And if you really like the video, you can even support We The Internet TV on Patreon. Check out the link in the description below.